holy crap there's a G the gpu up driver update is finally available for pixel devices you go race to your pixel and you check for an update you you see there is an update you download it or maybe you're not on the beta maybe you're on stable firmware and you're like holy crap the gpu drivers are available on android 16 qpr3 beta 1 android released android 16 qpr3 beta 1 last night and i don't want you to rush to the beta program I don't want you to rush to download it and I certainly don't want you to rush to install it because the 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 GPU driver update is only half true. <laughs> so I downloaded it on mine. I the Android 16 QPR3 beta 1 cuz I thought holy crap, this is it, right? Here we go. Let's see what they got. And I restarted my phone after the update. I updated all my apps and I hit Geekbench. Now, let me show you what my score was before this Android 16 QPR3 Beta 1. The Pixel 10 Pro is on the left. The Pixel 10 Pro got a score and this is before the quote unquote gpu driver update it got a score of 2331 in the single core score it got a score of 6385 for the multi-core score but again we're focusing on the left side we're focusing on the pixel 10 pro because this is what it scored before the gpu driver update so you got a score of 2331 single core score. You got a score of 6385 for the multi-core score. And here's what the score was after the update. 1756 on single core score. 5029 on multi-core score. So so let's go back. So single core score on the new update was 1756. Single core score on the old update was 2331. So that's a significant drop in single core performance. The previous update, right? I mean, excuse me, the the multi-core score before the this update yesterday that was supposed to fix the drivers again was 6385. And after I downloaded the update, restarted my phone, made sure all my apps were update, and I restarted again, and then I hit the benchmark and ran a benchmark, and here's what we got, 5,029. So, it got worse. It got worse. God. So, I was like, this is embarrassing. Like, especially coming off of this one plus 15 right here or you can just blaze through anything you can this will cut through any application this will cut through any task this will cut through any 4k video editing any game like a hot knife through butter right does it effortlessly is that how you say it effortless eff effortlessly whatever no problem now you jump on your pixel mm. Maybe a different story. Now, I'm not saying you're daily, and everybody knows this, right? Oh, the Pixel's fast, it's snappy. True, fast and snappy. Most people are not even gonna have to worry about this. But when it comes to games, when it comes to editing, that's why I don't edit on my Pixel. I shoot content on my Pixel. I shoot videos, pictures, you know, all sorts of stuff. But then as soon as I'm ready to edit stuff, I transfer the content I took on my Pixel and transfer it to my S25 Ultra, or now the OnePlus 15, because of this. Now, it can edit 4K video. It just doesn't do it fast. <laughs> it basically takes twice as long to edit. I mean, to once you get all your edits and all your cuts in order, and then you hit final or the final cut or finalize or whatever, it takes forever to get to your final product, right? Your final video. Um, 
that's not good. How are you going to update GPU drivers and it get worse? I'm going to show you. I still, after seeing this and shaking my head and like, oh my God, I can't believe the phone's been out for what five months and we're still we're still doing this really i dug a little deeper and this is what i found out about this update because don't let the online uh don't let the headlines right like don't let the stuff you see online uh fool you this is proof right here um so this is what the update did really so this is what i found out this GPU update, this GPU driver update in Android 16 QPR 3 Beta 1 for Pixel devices, the update introduces GPU dynamic voltage and frequency scaling, also known as DVFS, for virtualized systems, allowing for the GPU to adjust its power consumption based on workload demands. This direct power management feature can lead to significant battery savings when the GPU is under variable loads. So what this GPU driver update did is not necessarily make them more powerful and, uh, um, you know, which we were all hoping for. It basically made them more efficient giving you better battery life. Now, it's not just for gaming, and it's not just for when you edit videos. It's for the full gamut. It's for jumping on a, a, a the Uber application, all right? It's for um, these pop-ups on, these stupid pop-ups on your screen. It's for all sorts of stuff. So it's it's not just an update for gaming and, and editing, right? It's for everything you do on your phone. The G GPU gets more intelligent. It's not over. It's not sending too much power to something that doesn't need that power. If it only needs 50% power, but the GPU is sending 70% power, it's falling back on that 50% power to get that task completed, whatever the task was in that application. Now that will save you with with battery life. So if you do have a Pixel, now this is only on the beta program, right? So if you're running a a pixel on stable build, you're gonna have to wait um, again, at least another month <laughs> before they address the performance in these GPU drivers. Um, but this is in the beta program, so so uh, it's frustrating, right? But but this covers your entire operating system. It's not just for specific tasks. So you should see better battery life, right? And I'm not going to lie, at the very beginning of December, when we got our first December update, the update made the phone feel actually really snappy, really smooth. Tasks, apps would open up, get completed, would close uh, very quick. I mean, it was very, very smooth, uh, very, very fast operating system. It's just when it comes to stuff like what I do, video editing, uh, it has not improved. So for a majority of people, this is probably not a concern of yours. Uh, if you just use your phone as a normal phone and you don't edit videos, you don't do any gaming, shouldn't have any issues at all. In fact, they're really good phones, right? I'm just saying when compared to beasts like the uh, OnePlus 15, right? And even the S25 Ultra, which is a workhorse, right? Um, it's... Uh, tends to do a little better when you have more horsepower under the hood, right? I just put it that way. But if you have a, I'm not hating on Pixel, I'm still Team Pixel, but I just tell you all the truth and give you my true feelings. And nothing's sugar-coated over here. So um, it is what it is. But the December update at the beginning of the month did make it feel snappier. So that was good. Um, you have, just have to wait another month to see if they can improve performance again. I want to know if you do have a Pixel. Has anybody gotten close to the 200 um, battery cycles yet? Remember, before these came out, Google is supposed to reduce your your charging speeds, I think, by, what was it, 50%? And also reduce battery capacity. 
to only 80% after 200 charging cycles. Has anybody gotten close to that yet? Because remember, when we did the math, when right before these came out, these pixels came out, I think two, if you do one charging cycle per day, I guess I could do it now. Let's see how long that, I think we're getting up all around that time. So 200 charging cycles per day. So what's 200, 200 days. So that's 200 divided by 30 to see how many months that would be by 30 days. So it's six months roughly, right? And when, when was it released? I think it was released right around my birthday. So that was in August. So we got September, October, November, December. So that's one, two, three, four months. So maybe coming up in about January, maybe February, that would be six months, is when you're going to see, I'm assuming if they still have this plan put in place, I'm assuming you're going to see people start complaining that uh, the battery capacity, you know, 80%, right? It takes twice as long to charge their phones. Um, I'm interested in... To, uh, I'm interested to see if anybody bumps into that issue. Um, as far as I know, I haven't heard anything one way or the other, meaning we got word that this was implemented in all, in, excuse me, in all Pixel 10 devices. And we don't know if they modified that or took that out or if it's still active. I'm assuming it's still active. Um, I guess we will have to wait and see. But... It's a shame that they're doing that, assuming they're still doing that uh, with all these devices here that that uh, charge fast as hell and uh, have 100% battery capacity. So interesting stuff coming from Google. Uh, let's see here. What else we got? I have, don't forget, I think we'll probably get out of here. Giveaway tomorrow. I don't know what time. I promise as soon as I schedule it, I will let y'all know. And again, it's going to be at the very least an Amazon gift card. Um, but I do have cases. I'm going to see if I can do earbuds or something like that. But we will do a giveaway tomorrow for sure. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get notified when we do go live. And uh, you will have a chance to Anybody watching can have a chance to win.